Good morning, dear hearts. We are now on lesson 265. Please subscribe. Today's lesson is creation's gentleness is all I see. But let's go back just for a moment to yesterday's lesson title and link them together. I am surrounded by the love of God. So creation's gentleness is all I see. And doesn't that make sense? When I'm surrounded by the love of God, what else could I see except the gentleness of all creation? This world that I see is going to reflect the thoughts that I am having. Whatever is going on in here, I will see out there, thinking it is out there, when in fact, it's in here. And that is a big awareness that we all need to realize. There's nothing that is going to change from my thought. Thoughts don't leave their source. If my thoughts are coming from my holy mind, and I know I'm surrounded by the love of God, then all that I will see is indeed creation's gentleness. But if, if I have my mind being guided, <laughs> guided, by ego thoughts, then everything that I will see and perceive outside of me is going to reflect the source of those thoughts. And it's, they're going to be thoughts of fear and danger and pain and lack of love and mistrust because that is the, um, <laughs> that is the condition of my ego mind. Now remember, we're in the section of what is the body, and I'm sure we're all reading it every single morning. So let's go into the lesson and see where we can understand the connection between today's lesson and our central thought. So the le today's lesson begins with the more text-like part, and it says, I have indeed misunderstood the world because I laid my sins on it and saw them looking back at me. And let's just for the moment uh, replace that word sin, sins with illusions because that's what they are. I have indeed misunderstood the world because I laid my illusions on it and saw my illusions looking back at me and how fierce they seemed and how deceived was I to think that what I feared was in the world instead of in my mind alone. The thought doesn't leave its source. From my mind, my ego mind, my mind of illusion, that's where those thoughts are coming from. But today, today I see a world in the celestial gentleness with which creation shines with which my father shines. We are the light of the world. Our father is the source of all of the light in this world. He is the source of everything. Everything that lives, everything that is, comes from our father. Father, your mind created all that is. Lesson 263, your spirit entered into it. Your love gave life to it. I will look upon everything that has come from the source of my father and in that celestial gentleness will shine in it and through it and i will see it i will know it i will feel it there is no fear in it there is no fear in anything that has been created by our father in celestial gentleness there is no fear there is no fear in love, and there is no fear in truth. So there would be no fear in what I am seeing with celestial's gentleness shining upon it when I am surrounded by the love of God. Let no appearance of my sins, my illusions, obscure the light of heaven shining on the world. What is reflected there is in God's mind, the images I see reflect my thoughts. 
yet is my mind at one with God's, and so I can perceive creation's gentleness. So how does that relate to our central thought of the body? Well, because we can change the purpose that the body will obey by changing what we think it is for. We can change the purpose of the body when we realize and we give it over to the Holy Spirit. And then, and then it will be purified to be used by our Father for it to shine through all of celestial's gentleness. We will give up the ideas, the purpose that the ego has for the use of the body. And instead, we will turn it over and then it becomes the means by which God's son returns to sanity. And though it was made to fence him into hell without escape, yet has the goal of heaven been exchanged for the pursuit of hell. And then the next line is the one I've been referencing the past few days that the son of God extends his hand to reach his brother and to help him walk along the road with him. And because now the body is holy and now it serves to heal the mind that it was made to kill. So celestial's gentleness is all that I will see now because celestial's gentleness is all that is now within my mind and I will see it, perceive it outside of me because it has come from the true source, God's mind. In quiet, and as it says, my mind is at one with God's. In quiet, would I look upon the world, this is the more prayer portion of the, the is the prayer portion of the lesson, which but reflects your thoughts and mine as well. As well. In quiet, in quiet, would I look upon this world which but reflects your thoughts and mine as well, because beyond this world, there is a world I want, and this is what I will see. Let me remember that they are the same, and I will see creation's gentleness. Let me remember, we closed out our last um, relevant thought section with let me remember lessons. Let me remember God created me was the last one. Let me remember, let me rejoin my mind with my father's. Let me remember, let me remember that I can choose to only see creation's gentleness because I am surrounded by the love of God. And then my holy vision sees all things as pure. And that's it for today. I uh, hope this helped. Please like, please share, please subscribe, please comment. Uh, please, um, please pray for your own shift in your awareness and that you indeed will see celestial's gentleness all around you today. Namaste.